We've had the Boss aluminium rooftop tent for a couple of months now and we've been traveling around the last four weeks and I'm going to do a review of all the great features of it and some of the issues that we have. I decided on I wanted a hard shell rooftop tent primarily to put my solar panels on the roof and I looked at the Chinese imports, I looked at the fiberglass units and I finally settled on this particular Boss aluminium RT1. Okay, setup takes only a couple of minutes. There's latches here, we unlock these. There's like a little safety catch there. We undo those two and we simply push it up. There's these two outriggers here that slide out with locking catches. The poles simply go in like this and then they clip on the bottom. So it has these straps here that clip on the top. I've done this in really strong winds. It's a little bit more difficult, but it's still quite workable. And then you tighten these up and this creates a, a very secure awning here. So how long does it take to put the tent up? I haven't actually timed it, to be honest, but it doesn't take longer than a couple of minutes. The ladder is one of these telescopic ladders and it clips on really nicely so it comes in a nice bag and I think it's designed the ladder goes inside the tent but I don't actually put it inside the tent because I find it's easier to put it in the truck. And I undo the velcro and then clip it on the back and just pull it down. These things are actually really quite sturdy. The ladder can also go on the side two bolts there on either side so the brackets for the ladder but our access is from the back so they don't use these we have two 500 watt solar panels on the top of the rooftop tent bolted directly to the boss aluminium roof rails i actually had boss aluminium install two extra rails in the front for the front solar panel the unit actually sits on these U sections, that's when most of the weight's born. And then the L section there is where the bolts are. You can bolt it down. The unit has vertical rails and Boss Aluminium provide these L brackets that I've used to bolt directly onto the uni struts which are at the top of the canopy. It has the struts on the outside bought it from the Boss Aluminium factory in Melbourne and they simply just with a forklift dropped the unit straight onto my Unistrut rails and I bolted it down there in the, in the car park. The whole unit is nicely powder coated including the front hinges here. There is actually a spot there on the front for an Anison plug for the solar panels. Plug so I wired it directly into the canopy. There is actually a grommet there on the front where you can wire the electrics into the unit. I didn't use their grommet, I simply just drilled a hole and put my own gland in there to get the electrics up into the rooftop tent from the canopy. I'm gonna take you inside, I'm gonna show you the inside. We have the extra thick mattress, uh, the size of it is a double bed. Uh, we take a doona, it is super comfy. All right, let me take you upstairs. The mattress, here it is. Awesome. Has an air mesh underneath, so that stops condensation uh, and helps a bit with insulation. I sleep so well up here. And you're up on top of the world with this amazing view, looking down at all the campers, sleeping in their tents on the ground. It is a little bit tight in here, but um, you get used to it. I was a bit worried at first being claustrophobic, uh, but you face out and the roof is so high I can actually stand up plus you can open the side windows all the way down not only have an amazing view you can easily tuck these away but it also gives air ventilation and gives you that space if you do feel a bit closed in I like to have it a little bit open so I can see the sky otherwise it's pitch dark in here and I don't quite like that some um, hard shell rooftop tents, aluminium ones, have condensation issues 
We haven't had any yet. This is pretty well insulated and uh, yeah, it's been very dry and comfy. It leaves no space on the sides really to for storage, but it does have a pouch here at the head, so that's really good. Very sturdy mesh material. Pouches are really easy to put your phone in and your chapstick and headsets or whatever. Um, a book doesn't fit in, but here at the foot end, here where the mattress ends, there's a few centimeters, like 10 centimeters, and that's where we shove our book, our water bottle. So there's a bit of space there, it's good. There's two more of those pouches at the foot end by the entrance. So put the keys in. And that's pretty much enough storage space, I think, that you need. Here's the window. Um, there's two zippers, it's great. So you can open the flap one side for the sunrise and the other side for the sunset. <laughs> so this is very thick material. It's uh, keeps it actually very warm inside. But it gets um, hot. It gets, if it gets hot, like it's quite hot now. In the morning, um, we sort of actually zip it up when the sun comes in uh, and make it dark again and have another little sleep in. But during the night, I sort of leave it like this to get the breeze through. It zips all the way down, so it's awesome. You lie up here and you have a great view. You can just roll it up and just tuck it away. The outside zipper. Also zips from the top. Easy. Which, if, if, you... you're, if you're getting in from the side, I think that would be a bit of a pain because you'd have to unzip both zippers from the top and you'd have to get on the top of the ladder to reach the top of the zippers to unzip them both and then to get in. So I, I don't know whether this one works really well if you're getting in from the side. We only open this up if you want to let the mozzies in. <coughs> Which means if you want to be eaten. I looked at so many different rooftop tents in lockdown and one of the main reasons I chose this one was is that the zippers for the door go from the bottom. So coming up the ladder, you don't need to zip the whole thing. You can just zip it up a little bit and in you go. It's getting hot, let me out of here. At night, we have the front door sort of half down the flap and just tuck it in away neatly. It doesn't flap and uh, stops condensation, lets the air in. And now we're gonna show you how easy it is to close it up. We leave all our bedding up there. Um, the doona, four pillows, and it folds down, no problem. It's so great to pack up in the morning doesn't take long at all, probably under two minutes. The poles come in a nice bag, but I don't bother putting them in the bag. The poles simply are adjustable when I leave them at that length. They're very easy to make longer. I simply just pop them inside just here between the bed and the frame. I've done this in really windy weather done this in really windy weather. In fact, we've camped right by the beach where it's been very windy. It flaps a little bit, but not too bad. I think you find this one flaps much less than some of the ones with the spring poles, which aren't really designed for a lot of, aren't really designed for windy weather. There is actually a, a bungee here that you can pull up, but I don't bother. I think it's easier just to pull it down and pull in the tent myself. It's a little bit hard to pull down. I've got around 40 kilograms of solar panels on the roof and it goes up and down no problems at all. In fact, it's a bit easier to get down with the solar panels on the roof. I leave all the windows open so as the air comes out, just make sure there's no tent stuffed in the side there. It has a really thick rubber seal and we've been down some pretty rough dirt tracks and no dust has got in. These clips go easy. Go on, pull down nice and easy. They're adjustable, but I haven't, I haven't adjusted them all from when they came from the factory. And there's like a little clip here to keep them locked down. And there's a hole where you put a padlock on if you wanted to. I'm not sure what you'd actually lock inside, but it's there nonetheless. These outriggers are a little bit fiddly, to be honest, but they work, they actually work very well. There's this 
locking pin here that once there, it's easy to get out, you just flip that down, pull the pin out, drop the pin in, flip it around again. That's the hardest thing to do, just slide these in and just to line up the pins to get them in the holes. And that's it. The leather is one of these telescopic ones. It hooks on there quite securely. It doesn't make any noise in the night like some of the other people have complained about with some of the other tents. The ladder's sort of okay. The sort of ladder collapses down. So my ladder goes in the back here of the truck and this, this works really well. So the ladder's the first thing that comes out. That's it. We chose this tent in the end because it's locally made. It is a little bit more expensive than the others and we hummed and hard for a little while but we decided we want to support locally made. It's made in Bayswater in Melbourne uh, and support the Australian economy. 